In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to manage items you find in your library. We all know that there are several ways in which you can view the items in the library, and the, the blue icons above the library area, if they're all highlighted, show you that it's showing video and images and music. If I turn any of them off, I'll turn this one off, it will not display all my pictures. They're still there, I just don't see them. I could do the same thing for the music file and just leave my videos. Or I could turn them all back on, so that's an easy thing to remember. Another quick item that you can do is you can change the type of display. I click on the library menu, that's the kind of the nine little squares at the top. And I can choose large icons. I can go back and choose medium icons, or I can switch to small icons. A fourth kind of display you find helpful at times is I can click down here and choose details. This will give me a list uh, of the items with a name, duration, size, date, and type. So this gives me an opportunity to see my uh, media resources in a different way. I'll click back on here and we'll go back to our medium icons. You can also search the library if you want to, but let me show you a different way to do that. What I'd like to do first of all is I have pulled all this raw information in. And you, as you see, which is very common when you take something from a digital camera, it just simply numbers the images sequentially. And I haven't actually renamed the raw files, but I'd like to call them something else so I remember what they're about. Uh, let's take the one over here at the upper right with the umbrella. And I, all I need to do is right click on it and do change alias. Now we are not going to mess with the original file, but the image that we have captured here, I'll just call this umbrella. And I'll take the one below it with the American flag. I'll right click on it. I'll change alias and I'll go to flag. And I could do that with as many items as I want. If I was going to search the library and I had a lot more than I could fit on my screen, if I look for flag, it just shows me my flag image. And I can click on the X in the search box to see everything again. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, let me show you something else you might not be aware of. If I click on again on our little nine square icon here, I have one that says export library. If I click on this, it will take everything in the current library and export it to a file. I, I'll call the file, um, let's see, let's just call this uh, test Four, and click on save. Immediately what it's done is it's taken a list of all the links between these items and the information on my hard drive and it saved it to a file called test4. So I can use that in a different project. I can use that in this project later on. Let me show you something else you can do. I'm going to take a bunch of these and just drag them into uh, my track. We'll take a little bit of audio, a little bit of video, and we'll drag this down into the track below it. Now I have some of the items that I'm using in my project, but maybe I want to clean this up. So the unused items, the used items have check boxes on them. If I click on this item here and say, remove all unused content from library, I'll click on it, and only the things that are checked remain. Everything else has been removed, not from my disk, not from my hard drive, but they're no longer in my library. Uh, the other thing I can do here is I did save all of these items, so I can click on this again, and I can say import library. Okay, I'm going to take my beach bundle, which is what I called this in a previous example, and I'm going to click on open and it says, do you want to merge? I'll say yes. And it will pull in um, everything that I had saved there back into my library, which is these files here. 
uh, plus the other ones that I had saved in that in that what I called my beach bundle. Now all of these are back, the ones I am using and the ones I haven't yet used in my project. I can go ahead and do anything I want with them. So you can export the library or import the library or empty the library or remove simply the unused parts from the library as well as doing this. And you can also, again, you can sort by name, duration, file size, date, or type. If I sort by name, here again, it's alphabetized differently. If I click on the arrow again and I change my sort, let's sort by file size or type of file. Let me go with file size, sort by size. And then I have my movies, which are larger at the bottom, and my smaller pictures at the top, and my music, in this case, is in the middle. So this gives me an example of how to manage some of the items that I happen to see on this screen. Again, you can import one of two ways. I can import by right-click and do Import Media Files, Media Folder, or I can import port from and here I have an option right now to do it from Flickr or the other option I can do is I can click on the little uh, icon up here to the left and that will let me give me the same option and this gives me other uh, download options as well so that's a, a little bit on how you can adjust uh, how you handle items in your media room in this quadrant of the screen in CyberDirector.